Hello all my merrymakers, I am Becca, and welcome to Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, yeah. To any newbies, thanks for checking out my channel. To all my returners, thanks for coming back. For anybody who is just totally lost, Things We're Making Thursday, that jingle was written by Jess from J Hook Magic and her husband, I believe. Um, but the whole concept of things we're making Thursday, um, I just realized how bad my lighting is. I'm gonna change. There we go. <clears throat> uh, things we're making Thursday it started last year. Um, they would pick a free crochet pattern and say, okay, this is the pattern we're doing. And that was the only stipulation. Um, and it was really fun to see the different variations that people would do with that pattern. Um, it was so successful that they decided to do it again this year. And this year, instead of a specific pattern, they said, let's do themes and that way crafters of all kinds can join in and if there's a pattern that's not free that you want to do that fits within this scheme you can do it and uh it's been really cool to see all the different things that people are making last month i made slippers i gave them to my father for his birthday he was not very happy to receive them. He's like, ooh, these are going to keep my feet nice and warm. So um, he hasn't tried them on yet that I know of, but they should fit. <laughs> this month, um, the theme was blankets, and I chose to actually do a pattern that they did last year. It is a pattern by Yarns that is available on Yarnspirations. It is called Red Heart Heartthrob Blanket. And if any of you were here last week, you saw the light come on into this wonderful braid of mine that it's called the Red Heart Blanket because of that nice little red heart right there. Not because it's made with Red Heart yarn, even though I'm just saying I'm not at fault here, guys. Anyway, um, so if any of you know how to read the graph, you've now gotten a little bit of a sneak peek of how far I've gotten, um, which is not far. I'm going to be honest, the bigger this thing gets, the harder it is to work on. And yes, I do realize that this is the last Thursday of February with it being February 29th. Happy leap year slash election year. Um, anyway, um, so here we go. I'm gonna show you the progress I have made in the last week. So there's my marker from last week. And let's see, where is... I just finished a row. So I I just finished row it's either 50 or 51. I just finished row 50. So and this thing has 114 rows in it. So I'm not even halfway done, y'all. Um, so you can see the E is done. And again, uh, as always, I will uh, take a picture of this laid out on the ground. And then we'll put it both on my Instagram and on my community team. Communicate. One more time community tab. There we go. Um, so the E is done. It's kind of running into the V here. And then there's a little peak of the 
O there, and a little peak of the L there. So, um, yeah, uh, about halfway done, and because I decided that I did, I wasn't gonna carry my yarn. I'm going to have a hundred million different ends to weave in when I am done. But um, I think it, it looks really good. Everybody else who has seen it has been like, wow, I really like the way that's coming together. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. So what does this mean? I didn't finish. No one died. <laughs> Um, which, if you've been watching my videos, that's really good news. <laughs> um, so, I had planned to take part in March's theme, which was, um, bags, I believe. Um, I had, I, I um, am coming up with, I had come up with my own idea for a pattern, for an Elvis Presley bag where it would have Elvis on the front, TLC on the sides, and then I was feeling really creative, I guess, and thought, man, I can even try to do the um, his famous eagle on the back. I'm rethinking that now in my brain with this not being a halfway done because um, as big as this is, I really can't have it hanging around the house um, unfinished. Well, I can. I just don't want to. But I also want my Elvis bag. So this is a little bit of a conundrum for me. Um, I also need to finish my daughter's piglet for Easter and then get started on my brother, my brother's blanket for his birthday, which is in September. But you're like, oh, that's far away. No, it's not. March is like tomorrow. That means I have six months to finish a much bigger blanket. And with my crafting time being drastically reduced, I'm going to need every bit of that six months. So... What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the Elvis bag on hold. Makes me sad, but hopefully it will be my Christmas gift to myself this year. And then um, this will be both my anniversary, uh, for those of you who, do, who don't know, my birthday is coming up and so is the anniversary of when I met my husband, which was the whole reason I was making this blanket. So this will be, this will be my birthday present to myself, um, I'll, as well as my anniversary present to myself. And that's just how it's going to have to fly because I think I've said this before, I'm, I really want to get projects done this year, which was the whole point of me joining Things We're Making Thursday. Um... I will be still doing this on Thursday, even though I'm not going along with the theme. I don't think anybody will mind. Um, if you do mind, tell me why. I will listen. I'm a very open-minded person. And I'm very easygoing. So there we go. Alright, that's it for today's video. A little bit word heavy, but there you go. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to comment down below. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. If you really like my channel, please share it out. And in the meantime, make what makes you merry. Ciao.